Thank you, New Hampshire. <laughs> Thank you, New Hampshire. Let me, let me take this opportunity to thank the people of New Hampshire for a great victory tonight. And, and the let me thank the thousands of volunteers in New Hampshire. Thank you. Who knocked on doors in the rain and the snow and the cold. The reason that we won tonight in New Hampshire, we won last week in Iowa. It's because of the hard work of so many volunteers. And let me say tonight that this victory here is the beginning of the end for Donald Trump. Victories behind us, popular vote in Iowa, and the victory here tonight. We're going to Nevada, we're going to South Carolina, we're going to win those states as well. And tonight I want to take the opportunity to express my appreciation and respect for all of the Democratic candidates we ran against. Pete Buttigieg. Amy Klobuchar, Elizabeth Warren, Joe Biden. And what I can tell you with absolute certainty, and I know I speak for every one of the Democratic candidates, is that no matter who wins, and we certainly hope it's going to be us, we are going to unite together. We are going to unite together and defeat the most dangerous president in the modern history of this country. And the reason I believe we are going to win is that we have an unprecedented grassroots movement from coast to coast of millions of people. The reason that we are going to win is that we are putting together an unprecedented, multi-generational, multi-racial political movement. And this is a movement from coast to coast, which is demanding that we finally have an economy and a government that works for all of us, not wealthy campaign contributors. And I want to thank all of those people who have worked and contributed to our campaign, but make the point that in this point in the campaign, we are taking on billionaires and we're taking on candidates funded by billionaires. But we are going to win because we have the agenda that speaks to the needs of working people throughout this country. Health care is a human right, not a privilege.
the wealthy and powerful will start paying their fair share of taxes. We will make public colleges and universities tuition-free and cancel all student debt. Unlike Donald Trump, we know that climate change is very real and an existential crisis for our planet. We are prepared to tell the fossil fuel industry that their short-term profits are not more important than the future of our planet. to end a racist and broken criminal justice system. We are going to pass comprehensive immigration reform. Our gun safety policies will be determined by the American people, not the NRA. And under our administration, it will be women, not the government, who control their own lives. Now, our campaign. We're continuing to listen to Bernie Sanders here. Uh, Fox News is comfortable saying Trump. that the, uh, the senator has won the Massachusetts. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not, it's been late, folks. I apologize. The New Hampshire primary. Uh, he won it big last time. He won it by a uh, whisker this time, but he won it with 25.8 percent of the vote compared to 24.3 percent for Pete Buttigieg and uh, Amy Klobuchar. A uh, surprising performer tonight at number three with uh, close to 49,000, 48,000 votes at 19.8 percent as uh, Bernie Sanders is taking a victory bow here uh, with Robert Wolf uh, trying to get an idea of Jerry Baker and Kennedy about where Democrats go from here. Um, the big question is, is, is now, with a whittle-down feel, how that vote goes. There are still seven or eight very active candidates, Robert. How does this sort out? Yeah, it's, it's going to be a difficult few weeks, I think, for the party, because you have four to five moderates that no one's truly coalesced around, and you still have two in the populist lane. So, you know, you, you have five to six, and, and, you know, we're now down to two, um, one caucus and one primary, and no one's really hit north of 25 percent. 